Hello and welcome everybody to today's edition of Mexico News Network's Breaking News Business here at the El Dorado Royale Spa Resort in Mexico's Riviera Maya. I'm Elia Bullman. Before we start, don't forget to check out all our social media networks, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and you can follow us live on MexicoNewsNetwork.com for more information on Mexico and the world. Let's start with today's show. A study by Siemens reveals that 6 out of 10 manufacturing firms in Mexico have industrial automation systems. According to Ivan Pelayo, Digital Manufacturing Vice President at Siemens Mesoamerica, this information is vitally important because it means we're not novices, we still have a long way to go. Siemens and Mexico's Ministry of Economy, via the Under Secretary of Industry, has drawn up an agenda to reach the 40% of companies that haven't yet taken steps to automate their processes. According to Siemens, China has its automation plan mapped out till 2025. In the case of Germany and Spain, they've already set out public policies to promote Industry 4.0. The Industry 4.0 concept may not have been developed by Siemens, but the company has had a head start due to his experience as a supplier of the hardware and software solutions that have brought us to this point, from the mechanization to the automation of industrial processes. Manufacturing activities are just as important to Mexico, judging from figures of 2016, during which the sector received over 5 billion US dollars in foreign direct investment, equivalent to 67% of total FDI in the period, according to the Ministry of Economy. In this respect, Mexico needs to step up its game because the manufacturing industry accounts for over 30% of GDP, says Pelayo, adding that Siemens digitalization solutions have been applied by the automotive and brewery industries with great results. Contrary to popular belief though, these systems are not the exclusive domain of large corporations, but are essential tools for small enterprises operating in value chains of all types. In my view, Mexican companies that fully embrace this industrial dynamic will stand a greater chance of dominating global production and exports. German companies are famous for promoting the ideals of cultural exchange and business ties with nations and continents. They're also strong advocates of the transfer of technology and know-how in today's interconnected world. Hirschvogel is headquartered in Denklingen, southern Germany, and has had a presence in Poland, China, India and the United States. It came to Querétaro in late 2016 to supply Mexico's automotive industry with machined and forged steel parts, and by all accounts, plans on staying. So did Hirschvogel's management team consider investing in any other countries? According to Lutzenberger, the answer is no. Mexico was the number one choice from day one. The company's clients include Magna Powertrain, a multinational that designs, develops, manufactures and tests automotive powertrains and that has had a presence in the entire NAFTA region, and a manufacturing plant in Ramos Arispe, Coahuila, and Nipco, a company based in Saltillo, Coahuila, that also specializes in the integration of powertrain components. We're building a bridge to strengthen the supply chain in Mexico. We didn't just come here to manufacture, but to integrate important chains. We import German technology and bring cultures together through the flow of people between Mexico and Europe, says Steven Lutzenberger. During this initial phase of operations in Mexico, Lutzenberger estimates that Hirschvogel will channel some 65 million US dollars into land insurance and equipping its plant, which indicates it has its sights set on expanding its client portfolio. In my view, Mexico has now become Germany's number one trading partner and a focal point for supply chain integration. Crees offers Mexican entrepreneurs, mid, small and micro businesses the chance to improve their performance by extending them a custom credit instrument that requires no guarantees. It's a very specific short-term product for up to a maximum of six months, designed to help micro, small and mid-sized companies address cash flow difficulties as these arise throughout the year, says David Lask, who co-founded Crees along with Diego Criel and Gonzalo Segarra, who has been CEO of the company since 2015. 
All three businessmen have a background in traditional banking and financial services, where it's notoriously difficult for mid-sized, micro and small businesses to obtain financing. However, they saw in financial technologies tools that could facilitate access to financing for companies such as these. Various sources of information are used and financial technology is employed to determine the company's situation and transactional value for risk man management purposes. The fintech sector has grown substantially in recent years and we realized that a lot of the technologies that's being developed worldwide can be applied in Mexico, says Lask, who defines fintech as a portmanteau of mechanisms for obtaining, registering and analyzing data on the credit behavior of companies over a short period of time. Once the loan has been approved, the money is deposited in the applicant's bank account between 24 to 48 hours later. Loans range from 50,000 to 500,000 pesos and allow companies to meet day-to-day -day operating expenses like salaries, take advantage of discounts on bulk purchases or for early payment. In my view, this type of financing is particularly useful for young companies, particularly during liquidity crunches. This was all for today. Thank you for joining me here at the El Dorado Royale Spa Resort in Mexico's Riviera Maya. I'm Elia Ballman. Before we go, don't forget to check out all our social media networks, Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, and catch us live on mexiconewsnetwork.com for more stories on Mexico and the world. Until next time. <laughs>